Subscribe to this YouTube channel and please enjoy watching this video, here we go. Chelsea are 12 points off the top 4 and Champions League qualification after their defeat at Newcastle last weekend. Mauricio Pochettino was asked whether that was still a realistic target for the team. He said, this is mathematic. We need to believe it is realistic. It is going to be tough to achieve the places to play in European competition, but it is still there. The most important problem now is not to look to the end of the season, but the process and to improve every day. It's important to be focused on today and not tomorrow. That's one of the aspects we're working to this week. Chelsea boss Mauricio Pochettino is pessimistic about having any of his injured players back fit for Sunday's game with Brighton. After Christopher Nkunku trained on Friday and Romeo Lavia wasn't out on the grass he said. I don't believe we can recover any, injured, player, but still there's one day more and we'll see what's going on tomorrow and if we can have some players available. Nkunku, Lavia? We need to assess tomorrow and then decide. They are close, but we need tomorrow to make a decision. Maybe Lavia is the more difficult, but we need to assess. Poach, performance at Newcastle even worse when I watched it back. Chelsea boss Mauricio Pochettino on the 4-1 defeat at Newcastle last time out. It was a tough week for everyone. I am very happy because I think they react really well. After you watch the game, I think it was worse than my feelings after the game. I was tougher with them inside than outside. Our approach maybe was wrong and, I, take responsibility too. It was good in the week to realize things we need to improve, we need to be more consistent, more maturity in this process. I am happy so far, even if it was really tough in training and meetings. Sometimes this kind of situation helps a lot to improve. Chelsea boss Mauricio Pochettino, we're our own worst enemy, we need to focus on ourselves. It's not the opponent. It was Tottenham, Manchester City, and Newcastle, and I think you said most likely to take points is against Newcastle, because they were playing after three days a very tough game against PSG, and can be distracted, but then we beat Tottenham, played an amazing game against Manchester City, and lose against Newcastle. We are our worst enemy. We need to focus on us. If we're in a good place, for sure we'll compete in a very good way. Okay, we're going to pay attention, to Brighton, but at this moment, we need to pay more attention to ourselves. Chelsea boss Mauricio Pochettino on his angry reaction to Newcastle defeat, we let down our club. We let down our club because it was our responsibility, like a team. We need to think in this way. It's not the players on one side and the coaching staff on the other. Everyone together. It's important the players feel the coaches in a natural way when we're angry and when we're happy we're happy. We were tough in our analysis, but tough is to show the thing we didn't do. But it's not to blame them. We are a young team, sometimes we need to be tough on them to learn, sometimes we need to be nice. It's not about afterwards, we feel really well, because we talked in a certain way it's about we get what we want. If we are helping, that is the most important thing. Chelsea boss Mauricio Pochettino on De Zerbi. They are doing a fantastic job. A very good team, a very good coaching staff. I know Roberto very well, and he's doing a fantastic job. Meanwhile, Brighton boss Roberto De Zerbi has confirmed that Ansu Fati and Tarek Lamptey will be out for a long time. The pair both came off injured in the win at Nottingham Forest last weekend. Fatty is expected to be out for up to three months although Lamptey is set to be sidelined for a shorter time. Defender Igor has recovered from injury though. De Zerbi said, Igor can play. Ansu, Fatty, and, Tarek, Lamptey are both injured. We have lost them for a long time I think. But the focus is on the players who can play tomorrow. We will have to compete. I don't know if we will win, but we will fight to win the game for sure. Let us know what you think about the entire thing in the comments section below. Additionally, stay tuned and subscribe to this YouTube channel for the latest news and updates from around the world. We sign out.